I, uh, I guess first time uh, I was in this improv group called Soapbox Saturday Night at Golden West College in Huntington Beach in the late 70s, just after Saturday Night Live started. And um, one of the guys in, my, in that group, we were 19, was a guy named Steve Odeker, who now he's done millions of Jim Carrey movies and Eddie Murphy films. But anyway, we were kind of like comedy buddies at 19. So I had an unusually high standard because he was a genius, you know, didn't know any better. So uh, the first time, we, were, we did sketches for about a year and a half, an hour and a half show, new every month for a year and a half. We, three of us wrote it, including the Odeker, the genius. So um, when that started to break up, I did stand-up, and of course Steve and I would meet all the time and try things out. So the first time I went up, kind of killed. <laughs> it was like, you know, we had problems and things like that, you know, it was like 79 or 80 probably. But then the real club, the first time the real club, me and Steve went down to the comedy store in La Jolla. Back when there was a, and there was a great open mic on Sunday nights. We weren't old enough to get in, so we had to wait outside until they called our name, and then we'd go in, because he had to be 21. Did our sets, still pretty good. And I remember the, all the guys in the green room down in San Diego, they're all wildly on, like like doing characters and jumping around, like like comics don't do today, but they all, they're, they're, God, is this what it's like? Is our first experience in the club. But th that went real well, and we just started doing that a lot, then we hooked up with a guy named Malik Bell, about six months after that, he was in our uh, trio. Now we're old men.